This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Dear Lord, thank you for your good plans. Thank you for redemption, Lord. Thank you that we can commune with you, oh God. Thank you for wisdom and understanding, oh God. Thank you for your marvelous works of your hands, Lord. Just thank you for everything, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I'm going to have to read this word really fast. Forgive me because I am losing space in my phone, all right? Um, this like take three or four or something like that. Um, but this message is a message um, that I've been hearing probably for the last seven days is coming together. Um, and it says, have you arrived your promised land? Numerous places refer to you and I as land or earth. Example, 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. It's almost as saying, when you have been humbled by the realization of your falling short of my glory, I will hear your spirit cry out and I will restore you to your former glory as in the beginning when God created man from the dust of the earth, breathed the breath of life into man's nostrils and put his blessing on man according to his word. I heard the Holy Spirit saying, are you deception proof? You know how something is child proof, waterproof. It can be destroyed by that thing. Does the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ? Eve nor Adam understood how it was that if Adam ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they would die. But God had spoken a command to guard their heart and minds from the consequences of, of eating the fruit of that tree when he commanded them not to eat it. Instead, they chose to seek their own understanding and not seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that God may continue to add all provision unto them. Instead of trusting in the Lord with all their heart and leaning not to their own understanding, acknowledging God in all things that he may direct their path, they chose to seek their own understanding. So the Holy Spirit is asking, have you arrived? Are you there in your hearts and minds? Does the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep guard of your heart and mind through Jesus Christ, his living and written word? Do you allow the word of God to be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path in God's order to protect you from the way which seems right, but the end thereof leads to the way of death? Do you know that divine understanding and knowledge comes from God and not the world, and not your experiences or circumstances? I heard the Holy Spirit say, if God places a holy person in a holy land who doesn't already have the understanding and knowledge according to God's word, that they are holy, their untransformed mind will manifest defilement in the land. This is why we must be transformed by the renewing of our minds that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God and not blaspheme his word. Have you arrived? Are your hearts and minds guarded by my peace, which surpasses all understanding? Do you know that I supply all your need according to my riches and glory by Jesus Christ? Do you know that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God? The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by me and without me, my word was not anything made that was made. Who knows a creation better than his maker? Who can counsel me on that which I made and gave life to? Shall your fear, your doubt, and your deceitful desires should they supersede my knowledge and authority? Will you go off the path I have created out of the kingdom I have formed in your hearts and in your mind? Will you leave? Eve and Adam abandoned the promises of God and the divine provision of God in their minds and hearts before God manifested this in the natural. They sinned in their inward heavenly parts 
as evident by their outward deeds before God leveled what they did inwardly with what he manifested outwardly. If I move now, are you ready? If I come now, are you ready? Some people have been divinely placed under discipline or authority figures and they move too soon. If I go to meet you where I placed you, will I find you there? And then the Holy Spirit gave me this thing, weapons of righteousness and legally blocking the attack of the enemy, okay? And um, read Judges 7 and 20, 2 Corinthians 6, 6 through 8. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 6, God says, use the weapons I give. If you read 2 Corinthians 6, 6 through 8, you'll see where they talk about the weapons of attack in the right hand and the weapons of defense in the left hand. And then you'll read in 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 6, where they says, we're human. We don't, we don't wage war as humans do. We don't use those weapons. We use the mighty weapons of God. And so this is where it ends. Am I the Lord over your life or am I a badge likened unto silver or gold worn to look good? A badge to flash to show authority. Accountability and order has to be restored in my house first in order for my house to manifest order in the natural. Sometimes for disciples, it can be difficult because you are called, chosen, equipped, and sent by God, yet you dwell and operate amongst man to help man. However, you ultimately serve me and are commissioned by me. Man in its self-appointed authority expect you to serve him. And then God, get, uh, Holy Spirit led me to remember in Joshua 5, 13 and 14, when Joshua saw the man before him drawn with the sword, and he says, you know, like, hey, basically, are you with us or are you with our enemy? And the, the, um, the man replied, he says, neither. I am a commissioner of the army of the Lord. In other words, I, I'm not here to, to uh, fight for you nor fight for your enemy. I fight for the Lord. Okay. And then the Holy Spirit um, led me to suggest to you, whoever watched this, to read James 3, where it says, you know, not many people, sh not many of you should become teachers be because we will be judged more harshly. Okay. So if a teachers um, or people who want to lead ministry, do ministry, if God calls you to it and chooses you for it, he will equip you for it and his grace will abound to you in that thing. Um, but for people who just may be calling themselves to something, know that what you sign yourself up for, it comes with standard. It comes with accountability. It comes with consequences if misheld, if miss, it comes with consequences if mishandled, if mishandled, it comes with consequences if mishandled. All right. So be blessed in Jesus name.